happy Kwanzaa, Hanukkah, happy holidays to all. And if you don't celebrate, I'm just sending you so much sparkling cheer, love, and light this year. You know, this year has been hard. It is done. Thank goodness we are almost to 2024, the year as an astrologer that I have coined the year of the pivotal ascended. The year of the pivotal ascended means we're all at different frequencies. We're all at different stages, right, on our ascension. So those that have already been doing the work for some time, like myself and others, um, we're going to really feel this, like for the first time, feel we are ascended, even though we, we really never ascend, right? We're in a constant state of ascension. But I feel like we're really going to embody and we're embodying more of that photonic light because the earth is now inside of the photon belt. And it's very exciting, very, very exciting. Um, just a couple of quickies, you know, uh, that beautiful planet Mars that rules Aries where the North Karmic Node of Fate is. Mars is in Sagittarius and he is in a harmonious, happy, beautiful trine over to the North Node. Okay, so this is boldness, adventures, physical activity, aggressions even. You know, you gotta watch that. It's my way or the highway. That's that lower frequency of Aries. All right, so this is happening throughout the whole weekend into next week. We have this beautiful trine coming exact actually on Christmas Day. We also have the moon moving into Gemini tomorrow. Uh, that would be Christmas Eve. That means moon in Gemini is opposite Sagittarius. So that means we're going to be having oppositions with Mercury retrograde as well as Mars in that trine over to the North Node. You could expect some travel issues. If you're traveling on Christmas Day, Christmas Eve, uh, even the day after, you know, there's some illusions going on out there. We have a lot happening. Also, I've got my notes here. It says, <laughs> Just be really careful, and I wouldn't recommend flying like the night of the 26th or the 27th, and if you are, just know that there's gonna be a little bit of, probably, you know, maybe your luggage gets lost, maybe do the carry-on thing. Back up, recheck, rethink, review everything around travel. Um, and don't fall for any illusions. You know, there's a lot of, we'll just say, people who are inauthentic out there and uh, you wanna make sure that you're not falling for the illusions because Neptune is strong, strong in Pisces throughout this entire period. So I just wanted to kind of just jump in. I am, myself, I'm planning to go live next Tuesday, but I don't know if it'll happen or not, quite honestly, I just don't know. Um, I'm staying in a fluid state and only planning things day to day in the moment. I do have uh, a couple of awesome podcasts coming up with a couple of awesome ladies and sisters that I will be announcing soon uh, where I'll be speaking to the 2024 overview, which is, remember, the pivotal year of the Ascended. And I'll explain more on that. The biggest transit of the year, all astrologers are talking about it, is of course Uranus coming together with Jupiter in Taurus that happens on April the 20th. And before that, we have the solar eclipse in Aries, the second eclipse to come through and make an X. See that? That's why I'm wearing this, the X. It's gonna make an X right over Texas, right here where I am at. We are having a beautiful drum circle gathering event right here on North Padre Island for that as well. So if, you, if you're if you thinking about taking a spring vacation, come on down to the island and let's share our love and get grounded and get some wonderful vitamin C activations here at the Sparkle Shack and on the beach. It's a beautiful time of year. All of the birds are singing and we're talking about all kinds of gorgeous flowers. On your drive through Texas, you'll be seeing those beautiful blue bonnets when you come down. So come down and join us. Look for the event to be linked. Um, those are really the only things that I can think of right now moving forward. You know, we have Equinox, 
We have the eclipse, solar eclipse, last one until the 2040s. And then we have Jupiter and Uranus coming together all within a month of each other right there at the spring equinox, okay? It's going to be a powerful, pivotal year of the ascended. And I am stoked and excited. Whenever you go through your holidays, remember to take more time. Mercury is retrograde in Sagittarius fire, all right, and is opposing the moon in Gemini travel, all right? So be sure that you're a little more patient, a little more grounded. I always walk around my vehicle and I hit the light language or ground and say a prayer over every single one of my tires when I'm about to be going on a travel. You know, it's important. Ground your tires. Ground them with your intention. When you're driving and you feel like you're getting into something, not my reality. Learned that one from Kate, the hardest. I love her. Anyway, I'm sending you so much love. Just a little drop in. I hope to be live this coming Tuesday. And every Tuesday we go live at 6 Central, 7 p.m. Eastern, and 4 p.m. Pacific, 11 p.m. Universal Time. So come and join. We're on YouTube, we're on Facebook, multiple groups, and we're on Instagram. So we would love to see you there. Um, sending you so much. Inoshe teko mahai, inu tishiki nu aai, inoshe naku makanahi, rushilokai. Universal love to you this holiday season.